Let's go every day, reliable mother. Hey? That's it, mate. All right, welcome back to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Now, tonight, we are chasing the elusive silver ghost. We are hunting down some Jewfish. Gonna go get some um, some live bait. Uh, head around, it's a little bit windy, but it's meant to die off a little bit later, so fingers crossed that's all good. Yeah, so as I was saying, we're gonna uh, fill up the live bait tank that I've got here. Um, yeah, we're gonna uh, find a nice deep hull and soak some baits and hopefully put a meter plus Jewfish. That's the target for tonight. I want a meter plus, okay? So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hopefully it's gonna be a cracker. Let's get him. You guys can see them or not, but they're just absolutely getting blasted up or something over there. Woo! Oh, I didn't bring my little rod either. Oh, look at them! Oh, wow! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, it's crazy. Look, they're coming this way. Look at them, they must be all bonito. Oh, look at them. Going back the other way. Wow. They must be chasing bait fish or something. Yeah, they're chasing bait fish. Where are they? Look at them all. Just absolutely smashing up. Smashing up all the little bait over there. That's crazy. I did know there was a heap of um bonito around, but I haven't seen them, yeah, smash it like in packs like that before. That was yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> We could be on if there's bait around. You know what that means? There's bloody big fish, baby. Let's go. Alrighty. So, with a little bit of uh, a little bit of bugger ass around, um, I've got myself in the spot, the location that I want to fish now. Uh, winds blowing, winds blowing one way, currents going the other way. So I've sort of had to play around a little bit with, um, yeah, how I've set the boat up, but. I am officially, uh, I think, ready to cast some lobbies into the water. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, that running tide should be should be crisp with um, yeah sunset. So we've got beautiful sunset in the background there, getting very close. So I'm gonna get some baits in the water, and then. <sighs> I just got a message from a mate. He's he's got a feeling. He, he's calling a buck twenty tonight for me. So if that could happen, that's a PB. I will be frothing. But anyway, I'm not going to get it talking without any baits in the water. So let's uh, let's get him in. Also, that wind is meant to die off um, a little bit later as well. So it's only the conditions are only going to get better as far as I'm concerned. So I've already rigged myself up. So all I've got to do is, I've just got a single hook on a three-way swivel on this rod here. Um, all I've got to do is uh, just chuck my brand new rod, this one. Just a little, uh, not a super expensive one, so. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to um, christen it tonight. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Get my rubbish. Yeah, so just a three-way swivel down to a uh, Gamagatsu, uh, I think it's a Nino, I believe. So, I'll chuck this on. Just using 30 pound line too, so. If that wind's a little bit crappy at the moment, it will get better. For the audio. Alright, there we go. That's that. Let's get myself a get myself a nice larvae here. Oh yeah, he's good. Get that in there. He's going in. Pin and one. Just 
straight through the nose there. And that's going in. So that'll sink straight to the bottom. That's number one. All right. And uh, I'm gonna do the same for this one. So yeah, got a snell rig there. And I'm just got a couple of beads. And uh, this one's gonna be on a running sinker. So yeah, it should, um, should have a little bit yeah, so I just got a bead there just to stop that from coming down onto my um, my other swivel, onto my other swivel. Uh, just protects, protects the line and the knot a little bit better. And I'm going to have my um, my other sinker just onto this one here, onto this line. And then my bait, I'm going to put a, a bigger one on this one. So this will have two hooks. So, okay. Get him in the water, give him a bit of a, a bit of a drink. Oh man, he got me good. Right. And this one. This one I'm gonna launch. Straight out. Got him. Two baits in the water. Uh, so that bait is moving around a little bit. Sorry, the boat's moving around a little bit. I've got the wind going one way. Um, yeah, as you can see, the big Stockton Bridge behind me. But yeah, once that running tide starts going a little bit harder, I should be able to set myself up a little bit better in front of these piers here. And then, um, yeah, hopefully that wind dies off too, so I won't be blowing the boat around all different sort of angles. And I'll have to, you know, I might have to reset. Uh, my line we'll never know but yeah we're just gonna play that by ear and um oh, i've got a good feeling I'm, I'm i'm literally spending all night here guys so yeah i'm i'm praying for a pb that's what i need tonight the pb okay so anything over a meter or pff, technically 97 and i'm on okay but not, not you know not a massive due for some people but yeah any Jew in my eyes is a good Jew, okay? So that's the plan for tonight. I've got some wraps, some food. I'm set. All right, now we just sit and wait. One thing I am gonna do in this episode for you guys is I'm gonna document what time it is, what the tide's doing, what the wind's doing, what the moon phase is, and um, try and crack a few codes for you guys and myself as well. And um, if we document things like these, um, in the future, it can definitely make it a lot easier for all anglers to sort of, yeah, try and suss out, you know, when the blight times are, you know, after a full moon, before a full moon, um, we actually are after a full moon, which a lot of people say is not good time to, um, to fish. But hey, we might debunk that tonight. You never know. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know the time the tide whereabouts it is um you know sort of halfway through the tide or top of the tide or bottom of the tide and um yeah hopefully we can suss out a, a couple of crack a few codes of yeah how to chase these elusive fish and um put more of them in the boat or on land too so i definitely this year i want to do a lot more deer fishing i absolutely love it and um yeah it's it's a passion of mine as well I, I don't do so much of it whereas i would call myself an expert far from that so the more i do it the more i tell you guys tides all that sort of stuff um hopefully we can all work it out together so yeah we'll uh we'll keep updated with the times and all that sort of stuff as we go so i'll roll a little bit of footage now of me catching some live bait um for this session all right guys so we are on the live bait I've got one. <laughs> That's crazy. I got one live bait straight up. For tonight. Looks like I might have just got some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got another one. There it is. 
Here we go. We're on to another one. Here we go. Come on. Yes, another two, baby. Yes. I think we got a few on there by the looks of it. Look at it. Oh, wow. He's a donkey. Oh, wow. What's happened to you, buddy? Oh. Yeah. I actually went out around the. Um, around the end of the break wall is quite rough and a little bit choppy and the little 380 mate she just doesn't like it eh? you know um and that was just what i was thinking that if you're not sure yeah and you're not confident just don't go like i ended up getting liveys inside the harbor which um i just suss out a little few areas and use my sounder to find them but um yeah it's definitely worth sort of uh, if you can go with someone if you're not experienced enough, but yeah, just know your limits. Hey, um, don't be too afraid to, I guess, call it and and um, yeah, like you'd rather come in with your boat and your life um, than you know and not get any fish than um, yeah potentially sinking sinking your boat or potentially even worse losing your life so yeah definitely uh know your limits guys know your boat's limits as well <laughs> in a little 380 man she just it was windy it was choppy um yeah and i just i just didn't feel comfortable so i called it i came in and yeah and i'm getting a bloody um uh live bait tank full anyway so we're all good it's all sorted and i'm here fishing didn't have to go home so yeah just uh hopefully what the live bait gets big juice oh, what have we got here stingray oh just dropped in I think it was only a stinger anyway. Alright guys, so bit of a quick update. It is currently yeah, 8.47, no fish. Uh, it's definitely an hour past the tide now. So the tide should start running pretty hard. The wind's died right off, which is really good too. And um, yeah, got fresh liveys out there. Now I'm just waiting for something to um, go off its head. And uh, yeah, wind's gonna die down even more. So hopefully, hopefully something happens. If not, I just think I think something just happened to my live bank tank too. Um, I've definitely got a full battery, but it just stopped for a bit and then just randomly started back up. So hopefully that's not a thing for tonight. Um, then I've got this all this stuff covered on. I've got a thing right around me. I've run out of mozzie repellent and the mozzies are pumping me so yeah as soon as that wind died off man they just started yeah getting all about but anyway keep you guys updated hopefully soon dewey come on dewey it's got to happen tonight tonight it's got such a good feeling it has to it has to all right keep us updated when it happens i think we're on I think we're on. I think we're on. Oh, it's got head shakes too. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, we've got one. We've got one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on. Don't lose this fish. Don't lose this. It's a Jewfish. It's a Jewfish. It is a Jewfish. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, I did it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, I did it. <laughs> yes, that's a Jewfish, baby. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. Have a go at this. Oh, I knew it was on tonight. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. I am absolutely frothing, guys. There we go. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Get this guy in the back in the water. Oh, let's have a look at look at the length on him. What have we got? Oh, what is he? Seventy centimeters. How good is that? Oh, seventy. What is he? Seventy. 72 yes all right let's get him back here you go buddy here we go come on oh yeah oh come on is he gonna go is he gone oh you good bro oh is he gone down you go come on brother you can do this he's still flicking around he's gonna be all right Yes. <laughs> it did it. It worked out. It happened. <laughs> oh my god. 72 centimeters is not an absolute monster, but brah, I did it. I did it. I'm, I'm so happy. <sighs> it paid off. It finally paid off. Man. <sighs> my heart's pumping. I'm covered in stuff, but yeah, who cares? I'm, I'm literally pumped, man. This is the best. All right, let's get back in the water and see if we can get a bigger one. How good is that? How good is that, guys? I did it. All right, let's go. Let's get another one. I'm pumped. 72 centimeters. How good? <laughs> okay, so all the commotion's gone from that fish. Oh, man, I'm still pumped. Um, so it, it was small, I would to say just about, just on nine o'clock that I got it. And um, look, we are about mid tide. So not even high tide or low tide. It's a couple of days after the full moon and I just got a 72 centimeter jewfish. So yeah, very, um, it's hard to tell. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, after the full moon, it's bad. And, you know, you've got to fish the high tide but or the low tide, but I just got to fish on the middle of the tide, hit my hit my bloody larvae and just, yeah, went Broadway screaming. So, larvae's back in the water, fresh one, big one too, actually, very big one. Let's hope we can crack the meter mark. That's, that's my goal. I've got one fish, <laughs> I can go home, but I want to crack that meter mark. 90, 97 centimeters, I think, is my PB, so. If I can crack that meat, I'll be frothing. I will be absolutely pumped. But yeah, um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm sitting here for a couple of hours and uh, yeah, finally something's happened. So hopefully many more to come. It should be a good night. All right, let's get into it. We are on again. Oh, oh this one looks a little bit better. Oh, I think he's, he's got me other. Oh, this one's, this one's a little bit better, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, another good fish, I think. Oh. Where is he? Have we got him? Oh, he's another good fish. He's another good fish. Yep. Where is he? Oh, yes. Oh, come on. This one's a bit bigger. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we've got another one, boys and girls. Yes. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, that's the second boat. That's the second two fish tonight. <laughs> bigger oh that one's better oh 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 settle down settle down settle down oh yes look at it look at it just right in the corner of the mouth once again let's let's get this oh oh oh, oh come on. there we go that one's straight out oh there we go So, this one has gone, what do we got there? 76 centimeters long. Oh, wow. That is absolutely beautiful. I'll just clean off this lens. Yes, yep. 76 centimeters long. Oh, number two. Number two, yes, look, oh my god, I'm so happy, guys, I'm frothing. Two for the night. It's been ages since I've caught a jewfish, and now I'm on number two, and the night is still so young. Yes! <laughs> All right, let's get this guy back in the water. All right, here we go. He should swim off. Oh, gone. Gone. <laughs> That's number two. Are you kidding? Man. Complete chaos. That's number two, baby. Number two. Let's go. Let's get this buddy live bait back in the water and let's go for three. Let's go for three. Mm -hmm. Got something feels heavy. I hope it's not stingray. It's bloody locked onto me. <sighs> what the heck? What is that? It's not a jellyfish, is it? It is too. It's a it's a stinking jellyfish. Wow, there you go. It's must have, it's obviously killed my yakka. I wonder if it's eating it. What the hell? That's super weird. Anyway, let's get it off. I almost don't want to touch it, like if it stings you. I don't know if they do, but. I don't know, yeah. yeah. That fish is dead, obviously. Yeah. Must have been right on the bottom there. Super weird, hey. Super weird. Yeah, so um, that last fish I just got, that was a 70, I think it was 75, 76, I don't know. I get lost with all the commotion, I get that happy. Um, that was about 9.30, so once again, dead middle of the tide, tide's actually going pretty well, wind's died off, it's actually a crack of night on the water here, so if this is what it's like in the middle of the tide, I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens when it gets to high tide, or even sort of that hour before I after, so um, high tide is roughly, I think it's about 10 to 12 or something like that, so yeah look <laughs> this night Chris could be could be an epic night I mean 75 centimeters that's not massive for most but for me I'm pumped I'm absolutely wrapped any jewfish when you get it is a good jewfish so yeah now it's just the waiting game and see uh, I've got two more live baits out there hopefully um, yeah hopefully they go screaming right so it has been oh, about an hour and a half about that um, since I've had, had my last fish, so 
I might just wind the baits in, check them, make sure they're all good. If they're pretty, you know, average, I might send some fresh ones out and just give them a swim in the um, live bait tank. But um, as you can see, well, you probably can't see through that. It's a bit cloudy, but um, I think I've still got about five or six baits left. So, uh, yeah, still definitely going to be hanging here until uh, the tide change around uh, 1 a.m. So I'll probably, I might pack up stumps, depending on if I'm getting fish or not, around the two o'clock mark, but yeah, uh, for now, might wind in and um, see if uh, the baits are any good. Oh God, definitely don't really want to be touching that. I don't know if they sting you or not, but either way, I'm not super keen to be touching that, to be honest. not good is it well that sucks anyway we'll get another live bait that, that's the second time that's happened so like I'm not 100% what's sure, sure what's going on with that like yeah hopefully they're not just coming down the bottom of the I think my live bait tank's just carked itself too. Oh god. Let's get me another live bait, eh? Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's a really good one. Alright, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna whip myself up a, uh, a fishy, smelly wrap. Boom. Let's get it. Cut here. Looks like a nice, nice big one. Bit of cheese. Snap him in half. Just like that. Yep. Clean, alright. Clean and sharp. A little bit of baby gem lettuce. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, a bit of chicken, boys. Yeah, chicken. Look at that. <laughs> Bruh. Starving, eh? Get a little bit of that bloody stuff that they shove up that chook's bum too. It's not too bad, that stuff. Oh man, I'm making an absolute mess of that though. This special burger sauce, now we're talking. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I'm not even going to be able to get that in my wrap that up how am i even gonna wrap this look at are you kidding wow i've gone way overboard with this thing straight <laughs> what oh yeah no Mm. Anyway, I'm going to scoff this down. Been a couple of hours now since my last fish. It's still perfect on the water. And it's and two o'clock is the... Um, two o'clock is probably when I'm going to pack it up. Or if I run out of live baits, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to smash this big dog. Look at that. Mm -mm. All right, guys, quick updates. It is currently 11.30, so that means two hours since my last fish. Um, yet to come up to the high tide. I'm hoping on the tide change there's uh, a bit more action. Anyway, uh, I'll touch base, hopefully, with the next fish. Oh, this is the last bait. Alright guys, well, it's been a little while now, uh, it's 
now yeah. past one o'clock. No fish. Um, I'm down to my last bait and I'm pretty sure it just got taken. Um, see my rod fold over and then nothing. So I'm assuming that that bait's gone. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do me a massive favor and hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section and give your boy a sub. Uh, really helps the channel channel to grow and gets um, gets my content out there for more people that might enjoy it just like you guys so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode i had an absolute ball and i'm going to be doing this much more in the future so yeah until next time peace out guys gotcha